What is your best Awakenings memory so far? My best Awakenings memory was in the 2006, in October, in the gas holder. And uh, I did a live set. And at that time, I was coming back. Like uh, I started in the 90s, but then I had like a brief intermezzo in the uh, early uh, 2000. And then I came back with so many huge tracks. And then uh, uh, Rocco booked me for the Awakenings to do the live set. And then I did all like all the tracks at that time, like uh, live. And that was like so magical because all the people knew the tracks and it was like, I was that already doing like for uh, 15 years the music, but it felt like I was just beginning. It was so, so overwhelming. It was amazing. Yeah, because we ask uh, everybody here what the key moment in their career was, or one of the key moments, and that sounds like a, a serious key moment. In your that was like one of the key moments of my career. Like, because then it took off. I played so many uh, at Ibiza, Japan, after that. After that, that set at Awakenings. Remember when, as a little boy, you first got connected with like the magic of music and knew that you wanted to do something with that? Well, I started in the, at the time when it started, 1988. So before 1988, I was into hip hop music and I was traveling a lot to London to buy records. And then all of a sudden, in the record store where I used to buy hip hop stuff, they were playing acid house music. And I thought, this stuff is crazy. And then I got back to Amsterdam, and then there was this club called the Roxy, and then they played that style of music. So, and then the, the, the year after, I released my first record, pure on that acid house style. So I was there from like the zero day, from the beginning. So that was, yeah, that's, that's like amazing feeling. It's difficult to explain it to people because not so many people were there at that time, you know? Can you like go back in your mind and think about you know 1988 and what's just happening for a very small group of people yeah. that really got that and a lot of people that was like this is just weird shit and this is never going to happen and now like 30 years later uh, this is on yeah. it's everywhere yeah because at that time I also I thought like oh this is like uh, a hobby this is gonna be uh, for just a couple of years and we ne nobody took it like that serious and then now for example if you would tell me at that time like oh in 20 years it's going to be so massive worldwide and you're going to be a big star traveling all around the world and that would be your job i would say like no you're joking so at that time it was, it was just fun you know there was no techno there was no house there was no hardcore everything was one sound because it was there was nothing and then this stuff came so it was truly amazing truly like mind-blowing is it difficult to get that kind of kick that you got back then from hearing something completely new these days? Well, for an example, uh, many people ask me this, but for example, on this festival, I checked out this young, talented guy called Blavan, and he's like a youngster from the UK, and his sound is actually, for me, new in this genre. You know, it's not like, I've been there before, but he's like, there's so many new artists who refresh me all, like, all the time. That's why I'm still uh, coping in this, in this business. Otherwise, I would be completely out of this stuff because each time I get like, uh, inspired by uh, new talents, like in evolving on that same house techno sound. So every year I get some new inspiration. So it's always kind of new, you know? I never get bored.